We got a tied game between Great Crossing and Cooper High School's 21 apiece. There's five seconds left in the second quarter, and quarterback Cam O'Hara is just going to say, watch this, 60 yards in the air to the receiver, catches it over the defender's back for the touchdown unbelievable cooper high school maintains their undefeated season they ended up winning 62 to 36 look at that throw that kid has an arm and then the moss catch wow that's something you missed that you never planned on watching and this is everything you missed that you never planned on watching today's episode is brought to you by the DraftKings sportsbook It's the European Handball Federation. It's a one-point game, and we've got a nominee for goalie of the year. Don't care what sport, don't care what league, we have a nominee for goalie of the year. Remember it for when we do our final votes at the end of the year. Andres Palika right there. Kick, save, and a beauty. Slips in the celebration. Gets up, keep celebrating. Gets up, keep celebrating. Look at that. Oh, it wasn't a kick, save. It was the hand. He was limbs everywhere. The leg goes up. The arm goes up. Bam. Smacks it down. Goes to celebrate. Spin move onto the sticker. It's a little slippery. Falls down. Doesn't stop him. They hit the button. So the official timeout button in the EHF. And then they, and then they drop this play. I like using the magnets for the plays. You run here. And you run here. Pass it to him. Okay, it's going to go in, coach. Great play. I'm going to get it past this guy. We got nine seconds left. They're down one. Can they get it past Palika? No, makes the save, but, but penalty because they went in the box while he was throwing her in the circle. Can't do that. So now this would be to tie the game. There's no time left. This would be to tie the game, send it into overtime to the new extra time. Let's see. You know what? It doesn't matter if this is going to win the game or go into overtime because you know our guy, Andres Palika, makes the save. Bats it right out of the air. Back where it came from. Boom. His team, the... Paris Saint-Germain, as I say it properly, they won. They won the last five matches against this other team because Palika, number 12, I mean, yes. Honestly, it's great goaltending. It's just phenomenal stuff. And he's going to get some of your votes for best goaltender of the year, Things You Missed Award Show. We need your help coming up with all the other guys up for awards. We haven't been keeping track. I just invented this right now. Uh, so if you want to go back in the catalogs, let us know. Who else from Things You Miss Lore should get an award? How about this guy for best paddle player? Although we've done paddle before, this is Javi Perez. He's in the black shirt, bottom left of your screen. Paddle is tennis and all the walls are in play. So it's like a crazy game of tennis where you can hit it off the walls and they do and the coolest thing about this is they have to learn all the new ricochets so that was a great a great shot by our guy Javi Perez Javi Liel Perez I don't know if I said that middle name right or not he's really hurt cramping up they didn't win the point but it was a great shot there's a better shot coming that will blow your mind like if this shot doesn't blow your mind then you've watched a lot of paddle and you're just immune to this shit because it is mind-blowing when you have not watched a lot of this sport. Taps it up, all right, and now they're just straight up. Someone's got to make a move. They let that hit the back wall, tap it back up. Doesn't go for a slam there. Everyone's just waiting for the big moment. Okay, that's going to hit two walls. Pops it up, keeps it alive. There we go. Now we're a little bit moving. We're on the attack. That hits the wall, lets it bounce. Counter, up close. Someone's going to slam it soon, right? Right? Well, how do you play it when they do? Watch this. Oh, the lollipop slams it off the wall. He has a beat on it the whole way and slams it into their net. What you just saw is unbelievable. What you just saw defies what you should be seeing. Watch it again. He has the perfect read. He knows he's running out the door at this point, and the guy hasn't even hit it yet. Like, he hit, he gives this dude the lob way up in the air, and he sees his eyes just eyeing that up to slam it down and he's immediately running towards the door in case it goes out and over, which it does. And now he's got the angle to just smash it against the net. They can't hit it. 
That's crazy. That's crazy. Did they know this was going to happen when they invented this sport? Like, were they like, and people will run out the doorway and get it? Or did that just happen? They're like, whoa, this sport is cool. Unbelievable. Those guys are so defeated by it. He's not. He's very proud of himself. And he should be. That was awesome. As I said earlier, this episode of Things You Missed is brought to you by the DraftKings Sportsbook. There's a chill in the air. Leaves. They're falling to the ground. Playoff baseball, football weekends. You want touchdowns? They got touchdowns over at the DraftKings Sportsbook. And if you bet just $5, you will instantly get 200 in bonus bets when you use code MISSED. That's $200 in bonus bets instantly. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code MISSED and bet just $5 on any wager and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. Let's go to Indian football, I-League 3. We have SAT Terur versus Dalber FA. I, come on, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm saying here. But they're playing against each other, and you're about to see a dive here by number 25, which gets called. They call it. I mean, it's a complete dive. They just kind of hung out together in the air for a split second. He got seasick, went down to the ground, and they say, yeah, that's a kick. So now the strategy that... Dalbeer, Dalber, F.A., who have not won in their last five matches, implement here is some childhood video game stuff. They talk about it for a long time. They all get together, and they're like, all right, you run in, and you fake kick it. Then you run in, you fake kick it. Then you run in, and you fake kick it. And then eventually, who's left? Yes. Now you're the one that's going to score, okay? And the other team's just lining up watching, waiting, being like, what are they doing? There seems to be a lot of people involved in this play. What could they possibly be talking about to five different people? Okay, here we go. Let's see what they dialed up. I'm not going to kick it. No, I'm not going to kick it. No, I'm, oh, shit. That guy read the play perfectly. He, he just takes it all the way down. He's got a beat on everyone, throws it across to number 22, who's flying past everyone. He throws it back across the middle. They're all twisted up, and he's just going to score. And that might be the most overthought, under-executed penalty kick you'll see. They're barely even celebrating. That's their third goal. Kisses the uni, goes to the corner, poses, I'm guessing there's an old man with a camera over there. Just a beautiful goal. Let's watch this. Oh, coach is happy. Coach is real happy. Let's watch it again. Now watch our guy. He's watching on the side right there. And he like gets faked out by that, but it gets him closer to the ball. And then he tries to start backing up. And then this guy fakes him out. Now, this guy touches it. Does that activate him that he can now touch it? Like, if this guy doesn't touch it right there, is he not allowed to run and touch it? I'm guessing. But because he touches it, and then he's like, bam, I got you now. And then goes all the way down and scores. That's bad. That's bad play. Coach is going to be like, I told you guys not to run that play. I said, never fucking ever run that play. If I had to guess what the coach said afterwards, I think he's going to say that. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Fan of the week. Take your pick. Vote. Be responsible.